Cinema in Minutes. In today's video, we will be going through a war action film entitled Special Force. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins with a group of soldiers en route to Kosovo for a mission. Aircraft equipped with guns and grenades transport them. Some of the soldiers have resorted to disguising themselves as aquatic creatures, while others have slipped into the trees and bushes to avoid detection. Several soldiers are looking at the same target from various angles. Dragon, Europe's most wanted war criminal, is the subject of their search. Snipers begin firing from all angles. Dragon and his goons are apprehended and taken into custody. As they make their way back to headquarters, Dragon is escorted by the soldiers. On the other hand, a French journalist named Elsa is interviewing Mina, a Muslim woman in Kabul, Afghanistan. Mina is warning Elsa about this interview. Currently, Elsa is writing an article about the warlord Zaif. He is known to be the butcher of Kabul. According to Mina, Saif is out for vengeance. Mina's culture forbids her from displaying her face to anybody, yet she does so to Elsa while they interview her. Mina is certain that after the interview, she will die by an honor killing by Zaif. Elsa tries to hold her back but fails. Before Mina leaves, she tells Elsa to move now or that Zaif will capture and kill her. Elsa's friend Amen keeps calling her to leave the country immediately. Elsa insists on helping Mina first. However, Mina is out of Elsa's sight already. Amen and Elsa search Mina, but the Taliban, an Islamic extremist organization headquartered in Afghanistan, have her in their sights. As Elsa prepares to depart Afghanistan, she arrives at her hotel room to pack. Amen should come and fetch her up in two hours. Elsa is on her way out of the country shortly after that. Before she leaves, she tries to locate Mina. Elsa shows up at Salamani's house to inquire about Mina and Zaif. Elsa has no option but to abandon Salamani since Zaif's goons have encircled it. Zaif's Taliban's ambush Elsa and Amen as they escape for their lives in their vehicle. The kidnappers are shooting and killing their drivers. The French government was alerted promptly to this development. The French Special Forces soldier Kovacs, together with his fiancée and other squad members, attends a birthday party in France. Kovacs wishes Lucas, a fellow Special Forces man, a happy birthday on occasion. Lucas is given an antique compass as a present by the Special Forces squad. The crew surprises Lucas with a gift, and he is grateful for it. In contrast, the French government mobilizes promptly to save Elsa. As a result, soldiers and special forces are sent to seize Zaif and safely return to France. The military jet carrying Kovacs, Lucas, and Elias heads to Afghanistan for a new mission. They finally make it to Ganmark camp. It seems like Kovacs is making light of the fact that Elias may be planning a trip to the beach. Lucas politely answers that Elias is on the team. The Taliban has kidnapped Elsa and Aman and taken them to a distant area. Aman reassures Elsa that they will escape the kidnappers. In order to avoid being killed by the Taliban, Aman advises Elsa not to exhibit any fear. Kovacs and his crew are strategizing for their next operation back in the camp. He has both good and bad news for the team to share with him. The good news is that their newest recruit, Elias, is a well-known expert with a sniper rifle. Having Elsa stolen and taken to Pakistan means that they'll need more soldiers to catch Zaif's army, therefore, they'll need to bring even more soldiers. Meanwhile, Elsa must deal with Zaif. They're discussing Elsa's article on Zaif, in which he's dubbed the worst friend an Afghan lady could ever have. Immediately, Elsa asked what Zaif had done to Mina. Zaif is surprised by Elsa's knowledge of him, particularly his academic and professional accomplishments. Angry, Zaif tries to keep his emotions in check. He instructs his troops to begin recording their conversations using a video camera. Elsa is asked by Zaif whether she believes in God, and she responds that she does. Zaif gives Elsa a piece of paper to read aloud after saying yes. Angry by Elsa's disobedience, Zaif orders Salamani to be brought in. Elsa stands and watches as her buddy is brutally murdered. Zaif's footage was handed to the French authorities 12 hours later. Salamani and Elsa are threatened with death by him. On the other hand, the special forces are about to board a military jet bound for Pakistan. It's the first day of their quest this time around. They carry heavy weapons and supplies, leap from the aircraft, and land on the ground. After landing on the border of Pakistan, they begin setting up in various positions. Meanwhile, Pakistani intelligence officers keep tabs on Mullah, the Taliban's spiritual leader. Mullah is aware of the agent's pursuit, but he was able to deflect the man and meet Saif. In the room, the Taliban's welcomed each other and greeted the rest of them. As a reward to their god, Mullah tells Zaif that his abduction of Elsa is an excellent idea, and he should never fail him. These special soldiers had already set up their positions when they were called in. It is Tic Tac's joke that they will not be able to take down all of the Taliban's around them. 
They keep an eye on their target's condition while they continue to plot their attack. As Mina and three other men were being pointed at with a gun, Tic Tac noticed the situation. The Taliban kill Mina and the three other guys. It's time for the special forces to get moving on their targets. Once within their Taliban headquarters in Afghanistan, Elsa and Ayman are able to escape. Their location is discovered, and Kovacs verifies their identity. However, Elias warns the crew that the Taliban are aware of their presence at the headquarters. As soon as the hostages are free, they depart the area with them. Elias forewarns them that danger lurks around every corner and urges them to move quickly. Zaif is startled to see what the Taliban are doing when he gets to the headquarters. After being surprised by a gunshot, he dashes to cover himself. He commands to take down the sniper attacking them. The hostages and special forces successfully make their way to a high point in the highlands away from the Taliban's control. They are awaiting the arrival of military aircraft. The appearance of military planes prompts Saif to organize an attack. Kovacs and his crew attempted to shift the military plane's pickup position to escape the Taliban, but they were thwarted by the Taliban's plans to attack them. While Elias is making his way to the squad, he is being pursued by the Taliban. Elias is supported by the special forces as he prepares for battle. Elsa rushes to the aid of the member who was shot. They begin their journey 20 kilometers away from the plane's original landing site. The rebels begin shooting at the fighter plane. The French administration, on the other hand, has received dismal news. The mission's outcome was negative. No one is there when the military plane arrives at the pickup spot. One person is critically injured when the other jet crashes due to an assault by the Taliban. They don't know where the hostages are, either. After a lengthy trek to the mountains, the hostages and special forces take a break. Their journey continues on day two as they try to escape their attackers. Kovacs wants to take a break from the trek. Elsa wonders whether they have a backup plan, but Marius denies it. Kovacs, as commander, has no option but to march for Afghanistan's entrance point. They pick up their pace once again and continue. On the third day of the mission, the special forces are ready to go on the attack. Elsa is questioned by Kovacs as to whether or not her friend Amen is trustworthy. As Elsa reveals to him, it turns out that Amen's family has been murdered by the Taliban. Amen is going to be given a rifle by Kovacs to aid the team. Tic Tac confronts Elsa about Saif's increasing use of Taliban forces in his pursuit of her. She said that Saif is more determined to kill her since he takes their conversation seriously. Marius learns that they've been avoiding the enemy for three days and asks the squad if they're still not worn out by the exhausting experience. In accordance with his advice, Kovacs agrees to take on and defeat the Taliban's. He sends Elsa and Amen into hiding, and the special forces will take care of the rest. It seems that the Taliban has backed off from their assault. Due to Zaif's rage, they are sent back to capture Elsa. According to a Taliban member, the soldiers are demons and cannot be defeated. Zaif insists on returning them. Zaif kills the man before he can proceed and tells him that Western women are more powerful than they believe. Soldiers from Ganmark camp have searched and rescued the six special forces and the hostages. In a neighboring village, the special forces are relaxing. Tic Tac and Elsa are on their way to the village to ask for a place to stay. Kovacs inquires about the whereabouts of the children in the neighborhood. In response, he claims that the Taliban have kidnapped their children and forced them to join the ranks of the Taliban. They are looking for clothes and food. A sniper's bullet kills Marius as he and his crew joke about his outfit. They instantly fled to safety and got themselves and their buddies ready for another attack. Elias shoots down the attacker with his powerful sniper rifle as he flees in the direction of the bullet. Elias screams in sorrow for the slain member of the special forces. In the village, they bury Marius. Amen, and the special forces squad pray for his salvation. The Taliban are much keener to murder the special forces on day 5 of their mission. Fortunately, the squad is able to leave the area before the Taliban can get there and kill them. The village head welcomes Zaif. He shoots him and begins searching for the troops. It is time for the special forces to go in for the kill on the Taliban. They have been murdering and shooting all throughout town to find her, but she hasn't been found. However, Zaif is following Amen. He takes him out in a heartbeat. A bullet enters Victor's chest, injuring him. Shooting and killing the Taliban is still going on, as other special forces continue to do. First aid is provided by Elsa from the mountains to Victor, who is evacuated from the village. They climbed the opposite peak as they made their way away from Elias. It begins to snow fiercely on the sixth day of their mission. As a result of his injuries, Victor is convulsing violently. Meanwhile, Elias is in a battle for his life. He is being pursued by the Taliban. He was shot and murdered not long after that. Seven days into the mission, the weather is already taking its toll. Victor fails to make it through the impending snowstorm and is killed as a result. Before continuing their journey away from Afghanistan, 
They bury Victor's body in the snow and depart. They're still making their way through the mountain's deep snow. It's the ninth day of the mission, and they've made it across the frigid mountains. The remaining special forces will have to carry Elsa since she is severely wounded. They began to suffer from starvation and sleep deprivation, which led to a loss of consciousness. Lucas was killed when Tic Tac and Kovacs were still engaged in combat with the Taliban because he was exhausted from a lack of sleep and a lack of food. Elsa is captured by Zaif, who is killed by Kovacs instantly. Kovacs weeps for the loss of Lucas, his best friend. The barren land of Afghanistan has seen another soldier's body laid to rest. On the 10th day of the mission, only Elsa and two special forces remain. Neither of them will ever make it to their destination since they are both injured. Once they've given Elsa a rifle, they've decided to let her continue on her path out of the mountain. Elsa receives a souvenir from Kovacs and Tic Tac, their keepsakes. She says her goodbyes by kissing Tic Tac. Elsa climbs up the weather as Elsa makes her way to the rescue. She lay still on the side of the road, weary. She is luckily saved by a passing vehicle. The movie ends with Elsa being sent back to the camp for treatment. She and the Admiral return to the mountains to rescue Kovacs and Tic Tac once she regained consciousness. They were fortunate to discover both of them still alive. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this and to help the channel grow.